we're, we're in Thorpe Park and we're not on a sparkle update tour. We're actually in an operating opening theme park. It's no, no longer a building site. Yeah, so we can actually walk around without being run over by a truck nearly <laughs> yeah. and all the, all the other good stuff. Thorpe Park, it's open. It's the 2024 season. Nice and clean in here. And of course, a shop full of brand new 2024 merchandise. Merchandise that we'll look at later in this video. No. <laughs> When we had a tour of the, the shop previously, I thought this would all be restocked with new merch. And they've still got pretty much every single thing we've already seen. With a few little bits and bobs on top. Got the nice Colossus mug there. All the new source stuff. That's really nice. I like that. That's good. Brand new skyline <laughs> with that beast over there. Tidal Wave's new bridge there, but Tidal Wave isn't on at the moment. Probably best, it is absolutely freezing today. I'm just heading towards Big Easy Boulevard, but right down to uh, Walking Dead the ride. I've got such a bigger appreciation of this ride now since we've done the tour. We really have. had the funniest ride on the Walking Dead I've ever had in my life it was a because obviously you can only have two in a row so I had to sit next to some young lad he was freaking out the whole way around That's the quickest <laughs> I, I was the laughing my head off <laughs> as soon as he gets off the ride bombs it down the corridor and just vanishes without a trace Walking Dead actually scared somebody uh, we got fish and chips over here and a veggie box and of course the one thing that we're here for, the one and only. Ready player one at the Sunset City, man. Let's go. Just while we're walking in the area, you got the stuff uh, ready for Mardi Gras over there. This, this area is going to be absolutely vibing with Mardi Gras. It's the perfect setup for it. Perfectly themed, ready to raring to go. Collecting our glasses and heading on in. Got trailers vibes in here, trailers vibes. It is huge. <laughs> I think they've had a little bit of a refurb in here. Ready for the premiere. We've come all the way to a theme park to go to a cinema. Yeah, why not? I'm buzzing. Take me to your leader. Right, so Ready Player One as a film is a film that I actually really like. As far as the 4D goes, it wasn't really 4D. No, you could pull your glasses down, it wasn't really 4D. Yeah, just small. But they chopped up quite a bit of the story, so for those who haven't seen the film, that in there is not going to make much sense. But the full film's actually really good and I highly recommend it. If you're a film lover with nostalgia for the 80s, you'll appreciate Ready Player One. Maybe that's showing my age, because there were some youngins who came out of there who was like, that wasn't very good. But if you don't get the references, then you're not going to understand it. For me, I enjoyed it, but as a 4D experience, not so much. At the start of the Oasis in Ready Player One, there's a hint towards Minecraft world. That's actually a part of the film. But it's also potentially something that we could be seeing realized in a Merlin Park very, very soon. Right, and brand new, 2024, the Bubble Tea Bar and the Spice Kitchen. Now, the Spice Kitchen was a little pop-up stall just down here, just outside the ghost train. That was so popular that they brought it back permanently for 2024. Mmm, bubble tea and curry. Prices aren't too bad. Nine pound for a spice bowl, nine pound for a chicken wrap, beef madras, nine pound, chicken masala with rice, nine pound. Not too bad at all, that. Have another corner. Right, just a heads up, Spice Kitchen said they do not take Merlin Pass discounts despite wearing Merlin Thorpe Park uniforms. And they cheated me out of lots of sauce. Where's the chicken? I'm sure there's chicken in there somewhere, <laughs> but nine pound, no discount. I was very hungry, but that was cold and tasteless. That Burger King is now open. Got a new game stall there, whilst everything's getting prepared and ready to rock and roll. I can't wait till it opens, I cannot wait. I think we're standing in front of the UK's best coaster and it hasn't even opened yet. I can see some new wings, I can't even remember if they were there when they last came there. Don't really want to take you in a tour of there now that they're open to the public. Chris, Chris, Chris. Sean, Sean, Sean. Toilets, Sean. toilets. Toilets are open and <laughs> Burger King is Burger open. Burger King is open. Right, I've just had a curry. I'm off to find my fearless. 
all gender cubicles. The bathrooms are very similar to the ones that we showed you around on the tour, but with some high period detailing. But the thing is, they haven't been opened very long and they already look a little bit damaged. Oh no, you're joking. Yeah, people oh. are idiots. People are idiots. Oh, goodbye, Black Mirror. Yay! <laughs> well, the Thought Park Monsoon has just arrived. I can't imagine many rides um, being enjoyable in weather like this. Other than Walking Dead the ride. It's the best ride on park. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Everything's closed now. <laughs> Getting all the plants in uh, for the queue line. And all the back end and the store there. Apparently the store's complete inside, but we just haven't we haven't obviously seen that bit. They're keeping that bit all under wraps. But if it's like the toilets, it'll be stylized, it'll be themed, it'll look okay. Samurai still needs a lick of paint. That's gonna be a couple of weeks. I might be looking too far into this, but they look newer to me. That looks fresh. I don't know why, because it's still sore, so it's got to look rusty and dilapidated like an old building. But it looks fresh. Are we having a washout at Thorpe Park? I'm still enjoying it. It's still good. It's still enjoyable. Cold. It is very cold and, and that rain is, is like daggers, like absolute daggers. So sad. <laughs> did you see all the sore stuff? Did yes. you see all the sore stuff? Yes. And the sore stuff that did, uh, you did see? Yes. And you want to see more sore stuff? Yes. <laughs> that nervous is pretty cool. Oh, Whilst the curry wasn't great, the bubble tea was actually spot on. I really like mine. I don't know what I ordered. I just kind of closed my eyes and picked. There was a lot to choose. Why? Why is bubble? Why is bubble tea so complicated to like order? There's so many choices. You don't see exact reason. You have so many choices. Yeah, but it's like, what do you know? What goes with what? I'm just like, I'll have that one, that one, that one. Into that one. Fruit goes with everything. Fruity. So it's just a fruit salad in a drink. They're fucking delicious. I like the balls. I like balls. There's, a, there's a lot of balls for sucking. <laughs> Time for the best ride on park. <laughs> right, Ghost Train 2024. No changes, but actors were on point. Actors yeah. were incredible, really good. But once again, it's not a ride. It's a mercy theatre, isn't it? Yeah. So if, if you like your theatre, go for it. But don't don't expect to enjoy it as a ride. It's, no. it's, it's actors doing their thing and, and that's about it. But it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It was. Go straight. Do you love it? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> how's the new scene, Sean? Yeah. The, the new how, scene of the new, scene? the new black wall was absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, really, no really shot. enjoyed it. No fake shot. But no, act, fake shot. No, no fake shot. Really? No fake shot. No fake shot. But the actors oh. were awesome. They were really good. Yeah. Have a look in the new Nemesis shop. Oh. Hold on, why am I filming this? I showed this not long ago. This was all here before. <laughs> Ooh. No rumba rapids today. Maybe some extra sparkle. That's your favourite ride, isn't it? But stealth's over there. Let's go on stealth. Right, we're down at uh, Amity Speedway now. You can see that lovely entrance portal. That was all uh, covered up when we last come down for the Sparkle Tour. But that looks really, really smart now. Really, really smart. It looks ever so clean around here now. Looks really smart. <laughs> And we couldn't get on stealth because it just started hailing, so now we're in doubles tea party, seeking refuge. And I managed to keep my curry down. Yes. It's tough. He's on the video I'm finally. Back. I'm back. Have you actually done a ride since I last spoke to you? We went on flying fish. It was so good. <laughs> oh, yes. We had time machine. We, we waited for swarm. Yeah. The swarm closed because of the wind. Yeah. So we went on flying fish and then it rained and then it wasn't fun. And then it started hailing. And now we're going on stealth in the hail. Woohoo! Yeah. Good times, gas station. Big easy bumpers. Here we come. It's about to go down. Carnage. Absolute carnage. I've never been on Detonator, ever. It's time to begin, it's time to start, it's time to do this ride for the first ever time. Now it's been fireworks themed. 
I hate drop towers. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. But at least there's a countdown on this one to prepare you for it. You, you a fan of drop towers? Love them. Love them. Must be nice. You've got fireworks in the, in the building there. got some power i don't know why we do it but the thing is there's a countdown and there's a speaker at the top so you, you know exactly when it's coming down so for me that was much much easier and i like all the fireworks in there we braved it we did it we did it right so we saw what it was when it was empty and let's have a look now that it's actually stopped sweets just loads of sweets that's about it just loads of sweets seven pound 95 for a bucket with a Merlin discount on top. I think operations has been normal standard opening day operations in terms of it being terrible, but the weather hasn't helped with matters and yeah, teething problems. A lot of people walking around saying that they've only done one or two rides all day isn't great, Yeah. but now the sun's out and there's still little hopes and glimmers because the park's open till six. It doesn't close at four or five. It stays open till six and so maybe just maybe those people can get on some rides, but I'm happy just walking around and soaking up the atmosphere. Yeah. But for paying guests who aren't pass holders, who have paid out of the hard earned money to uh, come down, maybe today's hasn't been the best day for those folks. Yes, confirmed. The water still goes over the top. With the weather a little better now, let's see if we can uh, chance a ride on stealth for the the first time today. We haven't been we haven't been lucky so far. It's nothing like a back row ride on the on stealth, is it? Let's go. That's a special ride that, you can see why it's a lot of people's favourites, like so many people love it. It's been lovingly looked after, sparkled up, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite an experience as that. So that brings our day at Thorpe Park to a close, a very mixed bag. I think the park looks fresher, I think the staff look very friendly, nice selection of merchandise, it looks cleaner, everything about the park looks nice, Big Easy Boulevard looks nice, it's spruced up but opening day operations oh, yeah. have been horrendous. Yeah, Not fun. all to blame on the staff and obviously other factors. Weather being a massive factor today, closing down the rides, hailstorms, rainstorms. It's raining pennies on the floor here, so I don't know what's going on there. But um, yeah, it's just one of them ones where it can't be helped to a degree, but at the same time, it's teething problems of an opening day at Thorpe Park Resort. Of course, it's gonna be busy. Of course, there's gonna be issues, but all in all, it's been a good day. It's been an enjoyable day. Yeah, it's been a good day. It's absolutely flown past. Uh, bubble tea was nice. Can't argue with the bubble tea. Stay away from the curry for a bit. I'm sure they'll tweak that, make it a little bit nicer because that curry was horrendous. But uh, other than that, yeah, a nice, good, solid opening day for a pass holder. As a member of the general public, I think it'll be a, a guest services issue of queuing up and probably asking for a refund. With the weather, I yeah. Guaranteed rainy day. So you get your yeah. I was. I forgot about that, Chris. Yeah. So something came over the tannoy saying that it was a rainy day guarantee, classified as one. So people can come back and uh, have a free day on the park as part of that guarantee. But with that said, hit the like button, subscribe button, subscribe to Adventure Times on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.